when you watch these reality shows, you have to strip them down or break them down and see them for what they are. And ask yourself, what is the main thing that they keep drilling to my head over and over and over again? There's 500 damn reality shows on TV. And all it is is different people doing the exact same shit. The exact same shit over and over and over, just different people doing it. And you tune in to every one of them. So ask yourself, what is the main image that they keep showing me over and over again? They're brainwashing. They're drilling this shit into my head. And one of the things you'll notice is that they're destroying the fucking men on these reality shows. They're destroying us. And they're doing this by teaching the woman that they don't really need a man. That they can do everything a man can do and they can do it better. And it's okay for them to disrespect you and talk shit to you and talk down to you. Even though she's your wife, she don't have to respect you as a man, and she don't really fucking need you. And she can just hold the threat of leaving you and taking half your shit and giving you child support and alimony payments that are at ridiculous dollar amounts and shit. And they can sit clean and then go off to their next venture and kick dirt on you and spit on you and and embarrass you on TV. You know, it's okay for them to do that. You know, and these women, you know, especially these teenagers, if they're into these shows, they're going to think that that's the way they're supposed to be because they don't know that this is a false sense of reality that's being fed to them. This is not really reality. This is TV. These people are told to do a lot of this stuff. They get paid. I don't care what nobody says. They say, oh, they don't get paid on these shows. Fuck that. They get paid, man. They get paid chips. That shit is nothing but fucking acting, man. That's all it is. Bunch of fucking actors, man. Putting there, putting on a fucking show, getting paid. That's all they're doing. There's no way that these people are doing all the same shit. But these women, when they watch that shit, they don't understand that, man. They think that it really is reality. They don't know that the shit is fake. So they start thinking, this is reality. This is the way it is. This is the way the world is. Not knowing that it doesn't fucking work that way. They're teaching women that they don't fucking need you as a damn man. And the problem with that is, is that women need men just as much as men need women. A woman does not make rational decisions. That's well fucking known. They make decisions off fucking impulse. They don't think things through. We as men, we think things through. We're always fucking thinking. Okay, we don't go to the mall and just start grabbing shit. Even if we got money or not, we're keeping mind of how much everything is and how much we got left and we got rent and all that. We're thinking about all that shit when we're in that fucking mall. Okay, we don't just go in and grab shit on impulse. Sometimes we do, but we still got that fucking computer going on our brain about how much money we're going to have after we get done buying whatever we're buying. We're still thinking about that. We're still thinking about the bills that have to be paid. You guys don't think like that. If you want something, you just got to have it. I'm not saying all of them are like that, but most women can't make decisions for shit, man. I'm talking all women that I've fucking seen, man. They all make bad decisions, you know, and um, men are there to help create that balance, okay? And you guys are there to help us with the other shit because we can't be women either. We can't play your role just like you can't play our role. You're there to let us know when we're fucking up and how we can improve. You're there to enhance us so that we can better take care of you and the family. You're there to help motivate us. I mean, it's it's cool that a lot of us are self-motivated, but you never can have too much motivation. You never can peak in your motivation. So it's good to have a woman there to make you extra motivated, to add on. You're only going to have more. So men... 
we got to stop talking about we don't need no woman too, man. Because I, I be hearing men talking about I don't need no woman right now. You know, what I'm I, I hear that, man. It's like why the fuck not? We need them too, man. I know we want to be tough, but we need them too, man. You know what I'm saying? And these reality shows make us forget about that. Because it's destroying the women. So a lot of the men who don't want to deal with a lot of these fucking ratchets is because they're scared, man. They're scared of getting got. I don't want to get got. Shit, I'm about my money. I'm stacking my chips right now. I'm not worried about these broads. I need to get my paper up. That's how a lot of us think. Because we're scared to death of these reality show bitches coming to haunt us and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're scared to death, man. A lot of us. And that's why we're thinking the way we're thinking with that. And women, they're talking about they don't need no fucking man. Because they're watching these reality shows and they're seeing these women um, drill that into their head. So then guess what? There's no unity there. That relationship between the man and the woman is destroyed. And that's one of the main agendas on these reality shows. On any one of them. Take your pick. They are destroying the relationship between men and women. And we have to shield our families from that. And we have to understand that we do need each other, man. We got to get back to unity, man. I know some people are like, oh, that sounds corny. Here you go with that unity shit, man. But what I'm trying to tell you is, is that... If we can't get along with each other outside of our family, because um, we're also being brainwashed to believe that we don't need anybody. It's a dog eat dog world. And it's every man for himself. That's what Survivor and all them um, competition shows are about. Yeah, I'll use you and then I'll, I'll, I'll throw you to the wolves. I'll put a knife in your back. Because that's all these reality shows are. It's just a bunch of backstabbing motherfuckers, man. And they teach you to be independent and work alone. And therefore, there's no unity. And if you're separated, if we're all separated, then we're easier to control that way. If we're bundled up in groups and working together, then we're going to be hard people to fucking control. Don't be on that every man for himself shit. That's why we're in the mess that we're in right now. That's why, I mean, we, we have no fucking control of nothing right now. We as the people, we the majority of the fucking people on this earth have zero fucking power to do anything. Because we're being brainwashed by these type of TV shows. It's almost like we're hopeless and shit. A few people can come and destroy us all. And we'll be able to do not a damn thing about it because we're all separated. Nobody wanted to work together. Nobody trusted anybody. You can't trust nobody, right? Trust no man, trust no woman. That's a bad way to think. We got to get out of that type of thinking. You have to understand the importance of having your family together. Like like I was saying, if you can't get along with people outside of your family, you at least need to be a unit inside your family. You need to be a strong unit in your family. Keep your family together. The mother, the father, the children. That's important. It's important for your children to have that. And it's important for you to teach them that that's the way that they need to, to have it as well. Because that's our responsibility. We're the parents. We're, um, we're raising the future right now. If you have kids right now that are young, we're raising the future of this fucking world, man. And we have to teach them right away. It's not too late, but we have to teach them. We can't be stupid sitting there watching these reality shows with the family and shit and family night. And your kids are watching this garbage and, and you and your family is watching this garbage and shit. You're being destroyed and uh, your woman is being brainwashed to act like a goddamn fool. And your daughter is seeing this shit. And your son is seeing this shit. So, I mean, that's basically 
a more better breakdown of what I mean about like the agendas and stuff in these reality shows. Because, man, it's some deep stuff. I mean, it goes even deeper. But I don't want to make the video too long because I know people don't really like to listen to videos that long. They probably only listen to like half of it and then exit out or whatever. So um, I'll be back to talk about some more stuff like this because I have a lot of fucking information that I can put out there. But um, yeah, you guys leave your comments. It's been a pleasure. I'm out.